Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be going over imports with SAS. So over on this web page right here, I got two divs. I got one for a header, one which is a footer. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to like, you know, add some styles to this. But what if I want to have the styles in its own style sheet, right? So I got a footer that SCSS right here with, with the top one being the background of green. Well, we want it to be the background of green, and then we got the bottom uh, as red. And then I also, whoops, then I also have a header, that SCSS file, where we want it to be um, pink. What we're going to want to do is import the contents in this file to this file. And much like how you would uh, link a style sheet to an HTML page, we would use an import. So basically, we got import right here, and then within the quotation marks is the path you want to get the file from. So dot slash means current directory, partials means the partial folder that's right up here, and then we're going to grab header.scss, which is right down here. So if we were to save and refresh, it should turn pink. Yes. Now, uh, now let's do the same thing for the footer. So what we're going to do is we're going to type the, uh, the at sign, import, and then quotation marks. And then we're going to type down the path we want to get it from. So we're going to say dot slash, that means current directory. Then we're going to go into the partials folder, so partials. And then we're going to type down, which is footer.scss. By the way, SCSS stands for sassy CSS. Just, it's just basically um, sass with brackets. Or, yeah. <laughs> so let's type down footer. And then we're going to save. And then we're going to refresh. When we refresh, we'll get the styles for our footer. Top one's going to be green. And the bottom one's going to be red. So that's, you know, most of what imports are, but I want to show you how to import multiple SAS files without, uh, with it, you know, looking cleaner. So what we're going to do is uncomment this code right here, and as you would notice, we have just one import, and then we added a comma, and then we added the next one down here. And you can do this with as many um, files as you want, so let me just do this real quick. So you can do, you can just like, you know, you can go as, you can do as much as you want as long as you, you know, add the commas. And this is kind of with um, imports with Node.js. I'm not going to get into Node.js, but it's, it's, it's like that. So with that, uh, actually, let me, let, me get, let me make sure it works. So let me comment this card right here, save it, refresh, and still works. So that's pretty much it for this video. 